Local researchers believe they have cracked a mystery surrounding an extraordinary discovery, and it's right off of our coast. ABC 7 News anchor Dan Ashley is here with a look at that. Dan? Yeah, Chris and Larry, you've got to see this video. It's really amazing, fascinating. Uh, this is a location that appears to be critical to one of the most amazing species on Earth. And to understand why it's so unique, you have to experience the undersea journey for yourself. And it almost seemed like we opened the door and stepped into their living room. They're right there. Right there on the ocean floor of the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. Thousands of octopus moms protecting their newly laid eggs. And the incredible images you're seeing are helping to unravel a mystery of this real life octopus's garden. One of the few known nesting grounds of its kind anywhere in the world. It's the work of a research group that includes San Jose State University, Moss Landing Marine Laboratory, and the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, also known as MBARI. This is one of the robotic arms. Jim Barry is senior scientist. He showed us the type of submersible vehicles used to monitor the site since it was first discovered in 2018 near an extinct sea volcano about 80 miles off the coast of Monterey. And since that time, researchers have also turned to increasingly sophisticated instruments to learn more. One is that we've had advances in technology and imaging for deep sea systems. You know, we're two miles under the surface, cold, dark, freezing, high pressure. And yet we're able to run these cameras and get great shots of these octopus sitting there. Yeah, it's. It's pretty remarkable. And since the discovery, San Jose State Assistant Professor Amanda Kahn and her colleagues have worked to understand why the octopuses migrate to the area to mate and eventually birth their young. She says one clue was the water temperature. We saw that the water was shimmering and wavering in a way, kind of like you would see heat rising off the asphalt on a hot day. And that made us think that maybe there was something about the water conditions there. Using sophisticated thermometers, they confirmed their hunch. Water in the vents was indeed warmer, part of an environment that allows the octopus eggs to incubate and hatch more quickly and likely avoid predators as they grow. Professor Kahn believes the newly published discovery will highlight the critical role of preserving the marine sanctuary. You know, for a species that reproduces all in one area, you can have the really strong impact on that population by protecting that hot spot, right? That patch is going to help that whole species. Before we just indiscriminately and inadvertently damage them, either through fishing, mining, plastics, climate change, whatever it might be, as a resource that we need to protect. Even resources as exotic and stunning as a real life octopus's garden. Isn't that absolutely amazing? Amanda Kahn, who you met in the piece there, was actually on the research vessel when the site was discovered. It's one of only five known octopus breeding grounds in the world. Uh, the others are located off Costa Rica. But uh, Larry Kristen, just absolutely fascinating. It's spectacular. Yeah, and the, the video is great. It's so sharp. You and, can and see every tentacle. I don't, well, yeah, <laughs> they're, they're so deep. But I mean, it, it, it's I mean, the technology is, is, is truly amazing. incredible. Yeah, it's right there in yeah. our backyard. Practically. Yeah.